Welcome back to our YouTube channel guys. My name is Ardil and welcome back to another behind the sound video on the SL500 behind me. Today's video, we're giving you guys a little bit of update about now the speakers are actually installed inside the vehicle, but also going through a little bit more about the setup procedure on the system too. So if you are new to our channel, haven't seen us before, hit that subscribe button below. But also guys, remember we have got a massive 10K subscriber giveaway. Link is in the description below. And that is some awesome, awesome prizes up for grabs once we hit 10K so make sure you followed all the details in that video. But to start off with, I think we touched on it last on the previous video a little bit about soundproofing. You've heard us talk about it in plenty of videos before, very, very important part of any installation. Basically, this is a skin's three mil layer, acoustically treat, treating basically all key areas of a door card, making it a far better acoustic environment for the new sound system to work in. Obviously, the way the clips go in and things like this, these are like plastic little clips. So obviously, there is a little bit of movement in these clips. These will all be taped and secured, ready to go back onto the vehicles. So everything is far more solid, a better environment for the new sound system to work in. So I want to show you guys not only the head unit install halfway through that at the moment, but also show you how we've actually gone into a stock location with the Hertz Mule Pro speakers. So inside the doors, basically what we've got is the tweeters and the six and a half inch drivers mounted inside the door. So this is the driver side that you can see now on camera. Basically that is the tweeter, the crossover, and also the actual six and a half inch driver mounted in a really, really cool way. So this is fully reversible. So we can actually move the system completely back to stock. You can see there the tweeter is completely on axis. So from stock, the tweeters are actually on axis and we've reutilized that existing position. So as you can see here, this is actually on axis and the other side is slightly different to make it all driver focused. Then we've got the six and a half inch Mille Pro driver facing forward this time. So we've changed the layout. The stock system fires back into the door. We're now firing this directly into the vehicle, into the footwheel, providing a lot more bid base. We've also supported this panel here behind the scenes to actually allow for MDF brackets and stuff to secure that. The reason why we've mounted the crossover in this position, we're not actually utilizing the crossover at the moment. What we're actually doing is running a four channel amp, running fully active of this. However, if the customer wants to add rear speakers later on, what we're doing is saving to a time of money later on for our customer, means that we can swap over the wiring very easily and very quickly to basically allow for the, um, this to become a passive system in the front, so going away from fully active. So fully active basically means each channel on the four channel amp is running directly to individual components. So we've got two tweeters and two six and a half inch drivers in these doors. So what we're gonna be doing is basically we could run that using two channels of the amp and then use the other two channels to run rear speakers. So we're thinking about things future-wise, so it actually saves the customer a little bit of money. It's not being used at the moment, it comes in the kit, we're putting it in there just as kind of a future-proofing um, way of doing an install, but it's not being used currently. Uh, we've run fresh cable into these doors as well, so everything is using connections grade wiring. Uh, the reason why bonnets up is because we're running cable from the amplifier, which is going behind the passenger seat all the way to the battery at the front. So um, it's very, very important that obviously this is all behind the scenes here, being acoustically soundproof. As you can see, all the foam insert from factory has gone back in as well. Behind there is all acoustically soundproof. Plus we've got the custom baffles built to allow for the speaker configuration to work really, really nicely in here as well. So the other thing that we're working on is obviously adding functionality into the system too. So as you can see, the radio is on at the moment. So this is the Kenwood 8019 unit. This features wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, as well as you've got digital radio options there as well. So you've got volume up and down, the touchscreen, so it's a seven inch touchscreen, which is really nice. And what we've got playing on here is via USB, the sine wave. So basically what Carl's doing at the moment is doing a setup of the amplifier. So we're playing certain tracks via the USB because it doesn't have a CD slot. 
and then what we're doing is measuring and doing all the mathematic work to basically get the voltages correct to set the gains on the amplifier so it's all set up professionally and properly. The amplifier is actually going to be sitting uh, behind the actual seat there so it's behind the passenger seat and that actually what that's actually doing is providing a load of power directly to the new components. So what that car's doing at the moment is measuring voltages uh, from multimeter and then adjusting gains accordingly to basically maximize the amount of power that can be delivered to the components without anything clipping or causing any issues further down the line and kind of limiting, protecting the system overall, which is a very, very important part of a system. So the SR4 amplifier is gonna be buried away underneath the little pockets. So you're not gonna see anything at all, but we've also got to be carrying on with the install with the actual 10 inch sub that's gonna be mounted in the footwell as well. So there's plenty more to crack on with on the actual install but we're cracking on really really nicely the speakers look really nice installed they're actually fully on axis as well as from the tweeters plus we've got the amplifier work going in so this is like a kind of like a foundation to the system then we're going to be adding in the sub into the footwell and then sealing up the vehicle and then going through the testing procedure and setup procedure making sure everything is inch perfect for our customer i'm sure he's going to be over the moon with the finished product but there'll be full videos on the final install on this sl500 so make sure you you don't miss that by hitting that subscribe button below otherwise thank you very much for watching we'll see you soon